Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 17 and let's play Sagan the Tetsu 3. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Why am I still controlling Bonga? So the rest is the star of the show. Well, one of the stars, but the one with pretty much the one I picked to be the hero. Alright, so at least we're fully healed, which is a good thing. Just to make sure we're ready for what's ahead. Let's go this way. And then we'll go... You son of a bitch. Used up a pack on chocolate. Gold mana statue three screens away. God damn it. That was just a middle finger game. Even though I should have known that in advance by practicing. But oh well. Can't believe I did that. I'm going to top up my pack on chocolate in shame. I'm going to use this out of absolute guilt. Man, wh what a horrible thing to do. You know, I should really top up my round drops as well. I've been using a ton of those. Pweep pweep grass. Eh, seven. That's okay. Nothing urgent. So I guess we'll have to check out another area. What the hell? Must've been another eruption. What the hell is going on in Buka Island? Okay, that's a dead end. We're going north. Sadly, it's still night, so it might be a bit too dark to see in some areas. Oh, bull bears! Dark priest? What the hell? First time we run into those tomato-like figures in Secret of Mana 1. And Bonga levels up again? Well, okay, we can't pump up intelligence at this level. So, with that, we will go with strength. I was going to pump up intelligence to try to get it to 10 as soon as possible, but it looks like I couldn't at that time. That's okay. We can actually focus on another stat. Now, I don't know if this is the way I should be going. Apparently it is not. At least I got found out through this screen rather than the next one, otherwise I'd see those enemies again. Man, you think with swords, knives, and a spear, we can just cut the trees down, create our own path, rather than just have to follow the natural path? Okay, where are the other enemies? Probably another rebellion. Yes, it is. Oh, treasure chest. Open it, Cole. Damn it, Cole! I didn't want a round drop. I got plenty of those. I want the most powerful weapon in the game and get it right early. Just break the game for me. One out of 10,000 chance, it actually works. Okay, maybe it's a one in zero chance, but you know. Dare to dream, right? Oh crap, did he just heal himself? Yeah, he did. 125? I didn't hit you that much. Jesus, that's overkill on healing. Okay, that's all the enemies in this room. Well, it's not really a room, it's more like a screen. Well, it's an item seed. Okay, I can go north. I can go west. I can go west another way. Let's try this path first. Watch now, it actually loops. Okay, it might actually loop east. Double penetration! Bleeding in your ass! That was a very dark move by the Dark Priest. What's very fitting for him? Ah, it's another item seed. It's probably gonna be the same item on both seeds, I guess. Since we got it from pretty much the same enemy. Yep, it's looping. Because we went through like two screens since this one. These enemies come back. Oh, Cole leveled up. We can pump his intelligence to eight. That's very positive. The race to ten is looking pretty good for Cole. He's only two stat boosts away. Wait. Did you even get hit at all? Probably just a little glancing blow, and yeah, I'm gonna heal myself to full now. 
I'm paranoid. Okay, we gotta find a village somewhere. I mean, there's obviously gotta be some inhabitants in this island rather than mole bears and tomatoes riding Koopa Clown Car ripoffs. I mean, there's gotta be somebody other than that big turtle. My big box, big box, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies! No oh. Okay, back on chocolate's alright. A few arrows to the neck, no big deal for Cole. I mean, he's handled worse. Like marriage. I mean, let's move on! Ooh, two stairs to take. Uh, is it a good idea to go this way? Okay, there's another path over there. But you know what? I think we're just gonna commit and go in this direction. Oh, oh, found a village. Hopefully they are friendly. I see a dark priest. That does not look very enlightening. But they don't look hostile. Welcome to the village of dark priests. Um, welcome to you too. Do you have any services? Oh. That statue over there, the totem pole, that actually serves as a gold mana statue. Go mana goddess statue. Perhaps they don't worship the mana goddess. The next eruption will be a big one. If you want to run, run now. We're staying here. It is not our place to defy nature. When we die, we die. Then why do you have healing magic? I, I can see your ass crack. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so you must be a shop. Yes, welcome to you too, even though we killed half your brethren. Half plate? Okay, defense goes up by 8. That's impressive. Banded mail, defense goes up by 8. 4 for coal, I bet. 9! He, he actually redeemed himself. For a change. Alright, let's try weapons. At least I think this is weapons. No, this is just items. Eh, Dark Priest. I don't think they would sell weapons because they seem like a magic bunch. And a bit peaceful. Well, at least those are. I mean, the others we ran into earlier were just dicks. Just hanging around with the wrong crowd. I knew those mole bears were a bad influence. It's always the mole bears that just get you around to doing stupid shit. That's what it is. You can't trust the mole bears. Part mole, part bear, all asshole, right there. Pardon the language, but that's how I feel. I mean, how would you feel if I just call mole bears nincompoops? It just wouldn't sound as effective, really. I just gotta keep loading up. I'm gonna get, like, more chocolate. Because the more chocolate, the better. Unless you have diabetes, and obviously more chocolate isn't really gonna make your life any better at all. In fact, it'll just make it more pitiful. Be known as the person is like, oh, why do I have to have all this stuff that I can't enjoy? Well, I suppose if you're a diabetic, you could eat some chocolate, but you had to be very careful. I would not know because I don't have diabetes. And I don't want diabetes. Like, who decides? You know what? You know, I'd like to have diabetes today. <laughs> who says that? Not once in the history of mankind would somebody go, you know, it would be a good idea to get some diabetes right now. The chance for my toes to rot and had to cut them off, that would be awesome. Like, fuck this lupus. I want diabetes. But no, don't worry, I don't have lupus. Yet. Okay, this is the weapon shot. Oh my god! Thousand Luke! It better be worth it. Uh, it goes up by nine, so that's positive. Steel Lance goes up by nine, I'll take it. Steel Dagger. Damn it, Cole! This is gonna be like a common theme for saying that Setsu 3. Just damn it, Cole! That's what it's gonna be all the way. Every time we go shopping for weapons, it's just gonna be damn it, Cole, all day, every day. Maybe we just just shouldn't go shopping for weapons at all, because it's gonna make him feel ashamed of himself. It'll lower his self-esteem. And when morale goes down, bad decisions happen. 
Anyways, let's get the partisan sold. The saber. You know, we have no reason to keep any of these weapons. There's no such thing as synthesizing weapons to make them stronger in this game. West of this village, there's a cave where the Sea Dweller lives. He could help you escape the island, but the entrance to his cave is blocked off. A large boulder fell on it during an earthquake. You'll have to find another way in. But if there's no other way in, we're practically SOL JWF, right? In case you don't know what that means, look up George Carlin. He mentioned it and filled in the acronym altogether. I could do that, but you know, I'm pretty sure I said that a few times in my old LPs. Or you can just Google it. Ugh, another eruption. Let's blame the rebellion for this! At least we know there's a village nearby where you can just recover all your HP and MP for free. Getting these new weapons was a godsend as well. Not a very serious one, but you know what, whatever. I'll let you live for now. Tell the others what you just saw. Goblin Lord. It's been a while since I've seen you. Cockatrices. Oh, those eggs would hatch that particular time, wouldn't they? Cockabird Mature. Oh my god, it just evolved. Does this happen whenever you do like a set amount of damage that it just grows up? So if you want your kid to beat up, just beat him up a few times. No, no, seriously, don't do that. I'm afraid some parents gonna watch this video, take to heart what I just said. Beat up his kid, gets arrested, well Bunga said that I could beat him up! Damn the phone, time out. Okay, I'm back, let's continue, I just had a phone call, somebody tried to get into the apartment, and then they hung up as soon as I got to the phone. Must have gotten into the building somehow, by some other means, but that's okay. Not my problem. In the meantime, let's just kill some more cockatrices and have them evolve. If only Pokemon worked like that, you can have your Pokemon get the snot beat out of them, and all of a sudden, your Geodude becomes a golem. It's like, how did this happen? And it's even funnier if that actually happened in the middle of the battle. Just when you thought you never had a chance. Oh my god, this cockatrice is going to turn you to stone. This is terrible. We can't have that. Well, this is the closest coal we'll ever get to being hard, if you know what I mean. No, 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 I can't say that. That would be mean. I'll leave that to Colette. Anyways, let's get healed. Now, should we go right first? Yeah, I think we'll go right first. Apparently, that was a bad idea. That was a dead end. But the enemies won't come back. Now, do we go left? Maybe we can go left. Apparently, that was a bad idea. You know what? Let's, let's fight them. Let's go YOLO on these guys! And hope to God we don't get petrified. Petrofeather Flutter, that must have been the move that petrified Cole in the first place. Man, they could do like a shit ton of damage on ya. Just pecking you right in the chest, really. Petrofeek. Oh crap. Damn it, Cole! Why do you keep getting petrified? It's like, if there was a counter for, like, damn it, coal, it would probably break the counter. Like, this is getting ridiculous. Yeah, I, I should heal myself. Oh my god, that battle's finally over. I think it was a real bad idea to even come here in the first place. But hey, we're fighters. We take on all challenges! Even if it's a stupid thing to do. Yeah, we really need to top up the chocolate. Still got like 34 left. Okay, now it's down to 27, not counting the 9 we have now. Man, we're at, what, level 14? All the rest of level 13, and these battles are still getting ridiculous. Man, just earlier it was cold that was behind in levels. Now Ceres is going to be behind in levels because of the whole cursing at the ghost ship. That's what's holding her back. Ow! 
Damn it. But I wanted a pecker in my chest. This is not what I wanted. Oh, great. Now we need to use an angel scroll. But Ceres got knocked out. You know you're hitting a whole new low when you have to take control of coal for a few seconds. But I still do. Okay, now coal. No, Bonga's dead, actually. This is going terrible here! I don't know why we keep aggravating these birds! It's like, are we that desperate to get stronger? I think we are. It's like big birds retarded children are just gone berserk. They just wanna kill us. And now the rest is petrified again. Wait. Did she actually level up while as a statue? That's actually pretty cool, actually. To level up while you're petrified. It's like how do you make that decision to level up what stat if you can't even move? It's like the game characters really are puppets being controlled by the puppeteer that's holding a controller. That's one way to break the fourth wall. Without even trying to. I think I'll just go with a round drop for Ceres. Man, why? Who keeps laying these eggs? It's like, I'm afraid there's gonna be like one big giant bird at the end of all this. It's like, you were killing my children, now you must pay! And they start spawning like five or six of these at a time. You may never win the fight. Wait, do we actually take damage while petrified? So, so that I mean that's total BS right there. I just wish we had an accessory that can prevent status ailments such as petrification, war poisoned, and now Cole's petrified again, and Bonga's dead. We're falling apart at the seams, guys! This is not right! We should not be falling apart like this! I mean, do we dare use, like, stat-enhancing items against standard enemies like this? Damn it, Cole, now you need, like, chocolate! And that's the rest of these chocolate! It's gonna get to the point where we're gonna be needing honey as well. Jeez Louise! See why I hate birds and bats in video games so much? This is why! Well, actually, birds were known for being fast and pesty, rather than being strong as hell and can petrify you. Well, at least it's just one of them in a goblin lord. The goblin lord is not a big deal. I mean, it's just some dude with an axe. We can handle that. I mean, some dude with a giant axe is no big deal compared to a little bird that pecks you in the face, turns you into stone, and keeps throwing feathers all over you to lower your defense, thus making it hurt even more. I'd rather take an axe to the face with flying item seed. What's the difference between that and a regular item seed? Do we get flying items in this? Can we fly? Because that would be cool. That's another real option. Wait, there's something with this rock. Can you do something with it, gnome? Aha! Look at this! It's the entrance to a cave! Just give me a second. All clear! Oh, that's nice, but what was down there? Oh god! Yeah, no, 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 no. Just no. Well, let's take a look in this cave. If I find more eggs, I'm just gonna freak. Seashore Cave, we got Grell, and I never got a chance to catch the names, unfortunately. It's basically Jellyfish and Retarded Magikarp. Oh, and a Dark Priest is here, too. That one seems to be a different color? Eh, probably not. Come on, big bucks, big bucks, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies! Damn it, Cole! You had one job! And now you're gonna give us more! I 
Now we gotta fight this damn ogre box. I think this is the last thing we're gonna do, and I'm gonna stop the video. If you want a longer video, you might get your... Actually, no, we won't. Yep, I'm gonna stop the video here. Next part, we'll continue to explore this cave. And hopefully not die in the process. See ya, everybody. Thanks for watching.